should really pay attention to the forecast, right? I would hope so. Always. I, would I mean, so. yeah. <laughs> you could basically recite the seven day. I think you could, really, with the same system just swirling about. I mean, it's doing its little dance across the Great Lakes region. And for us, it's bringing additional rainfall. We had some yesterday. We had some this morning. We had some the day before. I sound like a broken record at this point. And initially, I sounded like a broken record because we were waiting for the rain to arrive. Well, let me tell you, the rain is here across northeast Ohio. And it's going to stay here for at least the next uh, 12 to 16, even 18 hours. And let's zoom in closer together and give you perspective as to who's seeing some of that rainfall right now. Well, parts of Richland and Ashland County, even southern Huron County, some moderate pockets of rainfall denoted by the brighter colors on your screen. And then the other stuff on the other side of the map, our eastern counties. We've got a light rainfall from Ashtabula down to Trumbull, parts of Carroll County too, but that's trying to move itself outbound. Most of that's just working into Richland and Ashland County is trying to progress its way from west to east. Our temperatures have not moved almost all day long. Mid 50s in the Akron Canton area to Mansfield right now. Other than that, we're close to 60 degrees widespread. There is warmth not too far off, and that's because we all are dealing with the exact same system overhead. That'll start to leave us as we go through the day tomorrow. But steady temperatures tonight and rain actually moves back into the picture. The intensity is going to pick back up. So let's time it out in your natural assignment on the hour forecast for you. This is this evening, so just wait. This is the evening commute. I don't think there are any large issues besides just the roads being damp. But as we approach 9, 10 o'clock, there is more rain to be had, and we can't roll out in stray thunderstorm embedded in some of this activity, too. And that wraps about as we go through the early morning drive. So if you have a commute, maybe 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, I don't think you need to anticipate too much rainfall for your actual drive. It's what happens before that. So there's likely to be some puddles and stuff on the roadways as you go about time. General rule of thumb, I think we pick up another half an inch in some isolated spots, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, depending upon where those thunderstorms really want to set on up this evening. Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, we go from near 70 for the day tomorrow, back in the 70s by Thursday. If you're looking for some of that sunshine, we have it for you. It's just Friday and Saturday's forecast, and then an isolated shower storm for Father's Day. We've got more 3 News at 4 coming up right after the break.